Hi, let's take a look at importing a file into GrabCAD Print. So there are a few different file types that we could import. We could bring in a SDL file, we could bring in an assembly of SDLs, and we could also bring in a VRML, or a file that has texture on it applied, so a color or a picture, and that could be a VRML or an OBJ. So let's start off, let's go to File and let's go to Add Models. So I can now go and navigate to the file that I wish to add and here let's go to add this file. You can select the file, click Open and that will add that into GrabCAD. Now this file is made up of two elements, I've got a sphere and a cube. However, they've been exported as a single uh, model. So if I go here into Magix where I can take a closer look at the file, so I can see here I've got two separate shells. So I've got the shell for the sphere and the shell for the uh, cube, but they are saved or they've been merged into a single mesh. But inside, there is this, uh, one can still see that there is this inner surface. If the file's been exported in this manner, I'll go back to GrabCAD now. If the file's been exported in this manner, then I can't make a different material selection for one element or the other. They, I can only control uh, them both together as a single mesh. So we can see here in the tree, I only have a single uh, model there. So I can go to my material assignments, I could assign say in this case Vera Magenta straight up and that is that material assignment applied. Now the next thing is I could import this file in as an assembly. Let's take a look at that now. So I go to file and add STL as an assembly and let's go here and let's select these two elements. So we've got the sphere and we've got the cube. can open them up as an assembly. And now the part looks the same, but as we can see, I can select different elements of this assembly. So here's my assembly, and here are the elements that make it up. We've got the cube, and we've got the sphere. So each one of these could have a separate material designation. Now, the next thing that I could do is I could bring in a VRML file or an OBJ file, and that would have um, a, uh, a texture applied to it. So let me again now go to Navigate, Add Models, go into my VRML folder, and I have a predefined model. Now, on this model that I bring in, I can't make changes to it. Um, I can't change the material assignments, but we can see here that I've got the cube and that has a clear texture applied, So, and that enables me to see the entirety of the sphere uh, inside. Again, here it is, and that behaves in a similar manner to the initial STL, where the models are not able to be separated. So let's go take a look at, uh, at this assembly specifically now. So if I select these two uh, models, the, uh, the initial uh, uh, STL and my VRML, which has got this transparent texture applied, and I can simply hit the delete key on my keyboard. Now let me go and arrange this tray. And I can here now go uh, and unlock my assembly or uh, uh, separate it by undoing this checkbox alongside uh, the assembly. If I do that, that will separate my part. Now, this is particularly useful for very complex uh, involved assemblies where I can, uh, with ease, make my various material assignments onto a part. So, let's go and reassemble that model and I'll go and bring in uh, a model that is a little bit more uh, complex we can see this in action.
So we have here a, uh, a lobe pump assembly that I will import in. Here we go. Let's just uh, change the orientation. So here is uh, the entire assembly. And in order for me to uh, go off and make changes now to the various elements, so if I wanted to make different material assignments, it can be a bit tricky to work out exactly what I'm doing and if I apply a colour to actually see that change on uh, the model itself. So the easiest way to do this is, as before, can click on the assembly, click the unassemble the model and there I can now go off and see the various assignments that I made and I can make additional material assignments as required. So here in this lobe pump uh, this is a casing, uh, this is my uh, um, going to be a moulded ABS and we can do that say in a black material and in uh, this part it's going to be a sectioned model that you can see the internal workings. So this I want to be clear material so I can select the Vero clear. And then I can make additional material assignments as required. So I can go here and select uh, an alternative colour for the pins and I can select something different for um, the gears themselves and all the various elements can be coloured in a different manner and this is particularly good for a visualisation tool to understand the various components and to see how they interact with one another. So once I've made these assignments I can now go back to my assembly checkbox, click assemble and all of those parts will be brought back together and now I can go off and send this part to be printed.